Tu sais moi caché que c'est n'a pas ça you I like come your love I love your body Your body keep on calling me Oh you want to move Yeah, intellectual punchlines is back. Intellectual punchlines fans, no. Um, you see, I started a no introduction, gidi gidi biya seven yeah, because this time the yeah, I just said lengthy and long. We no have any tear yeah. Among four years, Juma eight hours a day, ten hours a day, twelve hours a day. We be a while. No, when you break fifteen minutes, be pay. You know, like thirty minutes at most. The work break at check. We no relax. We no do one hour. One hour. One hour. We be no be did you. We be quite cool. You rest. We need be biya. You know, say. Punch lines be because when I say about five ten minutes be a, a bit much in a be too longer. It be another be a punch is necessary. We no hold that we just now boring. To these days, no short short short. Until now, boom, straight forward to the topic. I am now. You know I'm coming for because there is no any contradiction in the Quran. Quran contradiction be any even a Christian for cry. I'm not the only the a Bible ni tuye tuye mu fili fili say the yahoo fufu a papu tuye tuye mu a. We teams are poni ni tuye one thousand zaka kwa teams are poni tuye one. Contradiction, I am Bible no more be no. Still, I'm not saying contradiction. And yeah, it means number pa say number we are we have here a sixty seven. You can check here the same story. Now number now is like we be a sixty two. Still, I'm saying contradictions in him. And then you create the infant to another a another lesson. Quran, I hear in cream of four test. Hey, asamaboo. Maybe I'm doing something far. And then you may try to remember my story. Okay, young co. And I'm a, listen, a religious test be any what contradiction in him. Every religious test has contradiction. But people think say contradiction only means say A hey, be a what catch will be say What do you fear a do you know twenty-five? No wasako catch another person say one what said you fear a be a do you know you twenty-two next say say we can throw, we can throw no. In throwing our hands, say in same name, no. In Bible, a contradiction. No. What we can see, we have no other no one who can say for. As I'm now can no. In Bible, in Tali, in Shia, and then say we can throw. Now, one person who says Quran, no. Aye, you're going to come. You're going to come. Contradiction be any. There is a contradiction in every religious test. The religious test, in fact, what makes a religious test a religious test is because it has a contradiction. According to me. Me, me definition like who are you according to who are you i mean yes me yeah me me, <laughs> me see religious tests are contradiction you know? then the religious test is not a religious test in fact what makes a religious test a religious test is because it has a contradiction so brothers muslims uh brothers um uh, muslim brothers and sisters don't say say your religious test has no contradiction you call court. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. You know, Metrobi, Metrobi, CCR, Metrobi, CCR. Now, those who think you score less or you know, no, oh, it's not contraditional. It's a really, it's, it's an intellectual battle. Okay, the same platform, the medium that I'm using to say, say, there's a contradiction in the test. No? Use the same medium to re battle. If you can't, then let the powerful or intelligent and in the within his infinite wisdom who designed. Who is the uh, 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 the architect of this beautiful universe? No, let him defend it himself. Because only a spokesperson and only a lawyer. If you can't defend it with intelligence, then keep quiet. So no aggression and uh, EBR. There's a contradiction in every religious test. Yeah, to make your contradiction, you see here before some actual contradiction. This is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do right now. Yeah, yes, I we think. Um, so obiko kotwa. Na mfanye se odifa alo ya four kasa otimi kache judge na otimbwe ni na otiona ubu atene se my lord temper justice with mercy temper justice with mercy se ni ubisi akani chibi akava na chere se a b a se ni ubisi di asemno onye humo broka kwa na a b a aso chere se kodi ma di odifa no bi a ante suka kwa mano eti mercy comes Anytime we be have mercy on you, be or less of punishment, and I will forgive you. See, you are saying a religious test has no contradiction. Look at this: a merciful God who can burn people in fire. The 
tendency of burning people in fire contradicts the quality of mercifulness. A pasca, Madame Bessie, a drink. Nana Bob Bessie, a drink. What do you mean, can't say you are all A L L, all merciful if you can burn somebody? To be all merciful and having the gut to burn somebody in fire a contradiction but that that is just the surface you become near how what are some of the main contradiction because you are so like you know deep into the religious fanatics into fantasies to the extent that what i just said doesn't even make sense when you okay when you make a say a merciful father who can punish a child to the extent say wa buna me chin na pai pai am akola na kokoma no, so you're all merciful father. Oh, because it doesn't make sense. So you can't tell me your creator is all merciful and he cannot forgive you regardless of your sin, but put you in a fire. That is a contradiction. But that is not even what I'm saying because that is a little cheap shot. Let's go deep and analyze certain things. Say, Obi Kachira will say, Me Kachira will say, Me full plane from US to Ghana. Plane, it to flee New York at a landing or Kutuka International Airport. It takes eight hours flight. Now, I'm going to another person say it takes seven hours. The seven and the eight, and yet the same number. Contradiction about her. And yet, we are very clear. But there are certain contradictions that you have to analyze the test, synthesize it, and see, say, the test, one test contradicts another test, or the test itself contradicts itself. I mean, show me. These are some of the verses in the Quran. Ah, a critic in my intelligence, a critic contradiction. Let's see something. One, there are many verses in the Quran. Ah, I just say the Prophet Muhammad was sent to every person in the world, was sent to the whole mankind, was sent to the whole people. For example, let's look at Quran chapter 21, verse 107. 21, 107. 21107. We have sent you forth. You here stand for Muhammad, the Prophet Muhammad. We have sent you, Prophet Muhammad, forth as nothing but mercy to people of the world. I'm not gonna repeat. If you want to hear that again, you can listen to the video again. Yeah, to also another verse, another verse, which is Quran chapter 21, verse 107. 21107. 21107. It reads, and we, we, Jinahoma, Yakupon, El Kasau Kurama, we, you see, we. There is a beautiful explanation for that. I get it. You know, to say, as I'm saying, Kasan Waka say, Yang, and now, and you want to about Obeka say, Ye be ye say, that's all you need to mean, El Kasa, which is beautiful. So, Allah is speaking, and we have not sent you, you, Wahani Jinahoma, Prophet Muhammad, and we have not sent you, Muhammad. Except as a mercy to the world. And also, she said, Yanko Ponsuma, the Komsheni Mohammed, Emma, the whole world. Another verse, it's a lot of them. I'll read one more, three, then that's it. Quran 7, chapter 7, verse 158. 7158. 7158. And it reads, Oh man, I am a less messenger to you all. To you all. Of, of whom, sorry, of him to whom belongs the dominions of the heavens and the earth and the blah, 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 and the blah, blah, blah. You can read all that, but that is chapter 7, one, chapter 7, verses, verse 158. Um, Prophet Muhammad is saying he's sent to all. There are many other chapters that will tell you Prophet Muhammad was sent to all. Let's see. What makes this a contradiction? Boom. This is what makes it a contradiction. Let's go ahead. Now, in another chapter, in another chapter of the Quran, of the holy or the noble or whatever you want to use to qualify the Quran, the beautiful book, Quran chapter 14, verse 4, 14, 4, 14, 4, it reads, and we, again, Allah is speaking, so we, and we did not send any messenger except in the language of his people to state clearly for them. Let me take it again. And we 
did not send any messenger except in the language of his own people. Why? This is the reason. It continues. So, the messenger can state clearly the message to the people. And Allah sent astray whom he wills and guides whom he wills. And he is the exalted in the might, the wise. The reason why the, the, the verse is explaining itself. The reason why Allah will not send a message to the people unless the person, sorry, sorry. The reason why Allah will not send a messenger to a people unless that messenger speaks the language of the people is also explained in the verse itself. Was it? And we do not send a messenger except in the language of his people so that the messenger will state clearly for them. To make the message clear, you have to send a messenger who speaks the message of the people. So if Muhammad, the messenger of Islam, was sent to the whole of my kind, then he must speak the language of the whole of my kind. The whole of my kind do not speak Arabic language. And the Arabic they speak currently is not even the language that he spoke earlier. And so when the, the prophet Muhammad was sent to, to the whole of my kind, the language in which he received the revelation in the Quran in, and the language in which he delivered his message was not a language spoken by the whole mankind. And to the contradiction is this. When you take two verses and one verse is telling you, say, we do not send a message, a messenger, unless the messenger speaks the language of the people. And then now you have sent a messenger who does not speak the language of the people. Then there's a contradiction here. If there's a contradiction, then what do you want to call it? Google the meaning of a contradiction. Find the dictionary meaning of the contradiction. Let me, let me do justice to that very quick. According to um, dictionary definition of the um, Google, Google definition of contradiction, a contradiction is a combination of statements, ideas, or futures of a situation that are opposed to one another. So it can even be an idea that opposed to one another. It can be a clear statement that opposed to one another. It can be a situation that opposed to another, uh, one another. So what I just read, no, whether you take it as a statement or idea or a situation, it opposes to another, one another because the idea of sending a messenger who speaks the language of the people, the idea is to make the language, the state, um, the message clear to the people. And Sending a prophet who doesn't speak our language to us nullifies the idea of sending a messenger who speaks the language of the people. It opposes it, and that makes it a contradiction. I know my brothers in Islam will argue this, and they will tell you it's not a contradiction. Let them bring their own argument. Let's see. Let us weigh this on a on a on a on a platform of wisdom, and then I know. You know, when I used to be a Muslim, I have defended this before. And I know how Muslims would defend this. I already know because I have defended this before. Now I rebel against it by before I used to uphold it. And so I have defended it before. They will come and tell you, oh, he was talking about the first messengers or prophet that he sent to the people. Like Moses was sent to the people, the Israelites. He, they speak their language. Abraham was sent to a particular people. They speak their knowing. Uh, 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 no, uh, Noah was sent to a particular people. Noah speak the language of the people. They will mention all the prophets. So he was referring to those prophets. And then he was not, um, and that is different. Those prophets, the, uh, the verse is trying to say, say those prophets were sent to the people who they speak their language. But now Muhammad is saying to all mankind, well, what is that? What have you just said? What have you just said? The reason why he didn't send Moses to a different people who Moses cannot speak their language has been stated. The reason why Noah was sent to a particular people to whom they speak the same language has been stated. The reason has been stated that we do not do that. We don't send a message unless they speak the same langu uh, uh, um, language. It makes sense in communication. Before a communication can be established, the receiver of the message and then the passer of the message, the one passing the message and the one receiving the message must communicate through a common uh, medium of communication. And to me, if I speak multiple languages, for example, Chi, English, French, Hebrew, and then any other language you can think of. If I meet somebody who can only speak Chi, 
then I can't communicate with that person in French. It's not possible unless I get a translator. Please, the question is, do meanings get lost in translation? And always my, my, my Muslim friends are telling me, that Arabic language cannot be 100% absolutely translated into all other languages to make the exact same meaning as it will mean in the Arabic language. In the Impo Quran, so translate it in the Quran. Unless you, re you recite it in the Arabic language, if you translate it into English and you are reading the English version, it is not a Quran. It is not a recitation. That will be reserved for another topic. So, I will conclude this with Quran, chapter 22, verse 67. 2267, it reads, For every people we have prescribed a way of worship. <laughs> For every people we, as I said before, God is speaking using we as a plural of respect. In Arabic language, there are two forms of plural. There's a plural of number or quantity and a plural of respect. And you will read, I, Ejina Homa, and you will read, I, Ejina Homa, respect. So this we here to say, a yewia, it doesn't mean many Allah, it's many Allahs or many gods are speaking. But it shows, it's called a plural of respect. <laughs> so that is the Arabic language for a beautiful language anyway. Um, just as beautiful as my, my own local dialect and my lovely Asante Kasa. Okay, so, Quran 2267 reads, For every people or for every nation, we have prescribed a way of worship which they follow. So, O oh Muhammad, let them not dispute with you concerning this. This. <laughs> this. Which is the one given to him, Muhammad, Islam. And call them to your Lord. You are certainly on the straight path. I'll read it again. Quran twenty-two sixty-seven. For every people... We have prescribed a way of worship, which they follow. So what is the way of worship prescribed for the Shanti people? My brother, sister, Allah, Gonja, Fra, Fra, Dagomba, Buzanga, Kusasi, Mamprusi. Allah is saying in Quran 2267 that for every people, we, Masa, me, 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 Arabic. I'm not an Arab, okay? And Allah knows that I don't read Arab. And he brought the Quran in Arab. So if you want me to read the Quran, it has to be translated for me. And those who translated the Quran are saying, Quran 2267, the verse translation is, for every people, we have prescribed a way of worship. I know how it is. And I can't let me say, the Arabic, wow, it's Arab. read the Arabic version and explain it. And let's see where I go wrong. It's as simple as that. You know, when you, that's a intellectual punchlines. You're caught. For every people, we have prescribed a way of worship, which they follow. So, O oh Muhammad, let them not dispute with you concerning this. No matter how much the verse means or beats my understanding, the question is, if Allah is saying for every people we have prescribed a way of worship, a system of discipline, a way of life or a religion or whatever, which they follow, I want to know the Buzangas. What was or what is Sisiya the Muhammad Abba for the whole mankind and the Islam is, but what was your system of worship and that system of worship which was prescribed to you? you know, because Allah did not send a messenger unless He speaks your message. You know, the Buzangas, what were what was I'm sorry, who was your messenger who spoke your language? Bobo, the Ashantis, what is your system? Of worship prescribed to you by Allah. What was it? And which messenger was sent to you to prescribe that who speaks your language? Because Allah didn't stand up there or wherever he is and says, Hey, a creeping form of system of worship. Hey, a chim form of system of worship. Hey, a Islam form of system of worship. And they are messenger now, best man. And the messenger Ben or Bam, or Kamokasa, our prescribed system of worship, the mamma. Because when you start and listen, let me tell you something. When you pay a split of second, just reading one verse of any religious text will tell you it doesn't make sense. And 
Anytime it doesn't make sense, it is it cannot be an architect. It, it cannot be the um it cannot be the design, a design of an intelligent being. I'll talk about this in a different video. Why everything God makes must make sense to the human brain. I am a focus. You are going to know when you saw. I know when you saw. So, I have a computer. I have a computer. I have a computer. And I have a phone. Phone is empty and cheap. Empty and cheap. Assuming the brain is a, the brain. Look at the, think about the brain as a chip. I want to say, I'm jumping into this, to this topic. I want to think about the brain as a chip. I want to say, I'm jumping into this topic. I think about the brain as a chip. I will teach it in a different lesson. Semi microphone not empty and cheap on the The empty and cheap on the has to tally with everything that the main MTN server will do. Anytime we are MTN, MTN server, the main server, and it doesn't tally with the chip now. Empty and cheap on the It cannot come into my phone. A my phone, my phone chip has to should be able to respond to the main server. Yes, the main server has the bigger brain, but the small brain in my phone is supposed to tally and function with it. And it's a main server, and the idea of it makes sense about my phone. My phone cannot respond to it, it can't come into it. And I'm not going to be a I'm not to But maybe the one has to conform with anything he makes. I don't want to know how he created the human body and the blood. I'm not interested in how he created the mountains, the trees, and the rivers. That is not what I'm interested in. But if he does something in my life that affects my own development, it has to make sense. Because the only thing he gave it to me to use to direct me on this earth. And the reason why he will even judge us according to your scripture is because we have brain. On Timinja, on Jaji Bodemni, and on Jaji Abwa, because Abwa doesn't have brain. And what is the purpose of the brain? Is to use to think about practical matters. And when you tell me that God has done something, so I don't have to think about it to make sense to me, then it defeats the purpose of Him giving me a brain to think. But this is a, a, a lesson for another topic. 22 minutes and 30, 23 seconds. To, uh, I'll end here. Um, enjoy, 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 and bring your criticisms and comments or whatever. Bye.